With its successful launch last year, Visayas Art Fair is back for the second time around. In partnership with Cebu Design Week, it is expected to be bigger and louder. This year's art fair will feature 1,500 artworks from 500 artists and 33 participating galleries where 14 are coming from the National Capital Region. I think we have 1,600 square meter area on this 12 floor studio. That's much more than the area that we had last year at Montebello. So you can, we are putting many things in the Adrian Gardens. We have uh, the special art installations there by Jim Webb. We have the Globe Platinum Hub there where we have historic monsters. We have um, one of our, we're organizing a photo booth. We've never had that before. And we're also going to have a tattoo area. So if you want to get your tats, so that's the place. We have new artists that will only join us this year. We have very established artists from Manila that will be joining us for the first time this year. We have artists from Iloilo, Dumaguete, Bohol, Bacola, that some of them will just be joining for the very first time this year. So that's a lot of exciting. This year's VAF is bigger indeed. As aside from the art exhibitions, fashion shows, live performances, and on the spot painting contests for students, VAF 2022 opens the Budeca, a creative marketplace where handmade and sustainable furniture, bags, and even jewelry products designed by our local artists like Kenneth Coben Press Bloom Chair will be available for purchase. This year we have something very exciting for Cebu Design Week called Bodega, inspired by their early traveling caravans pulled by carabaos and horses um, with goods piled on top of a cart which went from barrio to barrio. This is our modern version of that design show. Um, I personally handpicked and selected the companies that are going to be assembled at the Oak Ridge tent and each company has something very new and exciting to share with all of you. Visayas Art Fair together with Cebu Design Week not only aims to serve as a platform for art education and appreciation, but to empower visual artists and the creative industries to help them realize the best economic potentials they can have. My dream is to make Visayas Art Fair, Cebu Design Week, Bodega Caravan, everything that the PMAs and Blue Mango Awards to be a destination event. Can you imagine that if we are a destination event in the Visayas, can you imagine how many people will benefit in terms of work? And how many businesses will benefit in terms of uh, um, visitors that will be coming in? We, if, how many will benefit from the tourism network as well, or sectors? And also, this will also benefit, if I may say, our industry, in the furniture industry, in the creative industry, in the design industry. This year's fair is not only expanded, but is innovative. An all-female exhibit titled By No Means will be showcased to support women in the art industry. And a silent bidding of Maung jackets hand-painted by our local artists will take place to build funds to support startup artists. And speaking of startups, filmmaker Nena Jane Achacosa's debut film Duwa Duwa will be up for viewing. And, and let's get to the showing up for this event because after all, it's about the artists. It's about the artists, and we know that we need art in our community uh, because art expresses our deepest feelings, our sadness, our pain, our joy, and we need people to be able to do that because sometimes we can't do it for ourselves. The artists do it for us, and we need them. So let's let's show them the love and show up for them at the Science Art Fair 2022 at Oakridge. This year's Visayat Art Fair will run for four days starting on November 24th until the 27th and will be held at Oak Ridge Business Park in Mandawi City.